afternoon, yellow Dem, and welcome back to another children's Torah story today. I want to start off by asking you some questions because I want to see if you have really been paying attention to our stories over the last few days. Have you, yellow Dem? All right, so I'm going to ask you the questions. I would like you to say the answers. If you get it wrong, don't worry. It's no problem. This is just for fun. But I'm going to ask you the question and say that I'm not going to know if you got it right or wrong. So just try your best. Are you ready? Are you steady? Are you Freddy? Hello, Freddy. Okay, Freddy. Let's go. Question number one. When Yaakov gave Yehuda a blessing, what was the blessing he gave Yehuda? He will be like which animal? Yehuda is like which animal? Rawr! The lion. Next question. Benjamin yes, is like Yehuda. which animal? Benjamin is like which animal? A wolf. Also. Arr! 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 Done. Is like which animal? Do you remember? Snake. Done is like the snakes. And then some of them had important jobs. Asher is going to have what job? What job does Asher have? He is a baker. Makes delicious bread. Then Zavulun also has an important job. What is Zavulun's job? He goes sailing on... Oh, is that how you do a boat? He no, goes sailing on... I see. He goes sailing on the sea. That is Zavulun. And your safe is like... Not like an animal. What's your safe like? A tree. Like a tree. Well done, Yeladim. And what was the dad's name? Yaakov. What was the sister's name? Hmm. Dina. And what was Yosef's boss's name when he first came to Egypt? Pharaoh. Remember, it was a funny name. This was before Pharaoh. What was his boss's name? You can just say the answer. Potiphar. That is right. What did Mrs. Potiphar want Yosef to do? Marry him. And what did Yosef say? Yes or no? No. no. When Yosef was back with his brothers, he had some dreams. In the first dream, he had wheat and the brothers had wheat. What was the brother's wheat doing? Bowing down to him. Bowing down to him. And then he had another dream where the sun, moon and some stars... We're bowing down. How many stars was it, Yeladim? Eleven. It was eleven stars. Just like his eleven brothers. brothers. Who was the youngest and smallest of all the brothers? Benjamin. And what did Yaakov give Yosef as a special present? Jacket. A special jacket with sleeves that went all the way to his hands so that he didn't have to work in the field. field. So that is some of the questions that I had for you. And I am sure that you have all done extremely well. Give yourselves a round of applause, you let him. Excellent, wonderful, and a pat on the back. Reach all the way over. Reach all the way over. Give yourself a pat on the back. Good work. Well done. Now are you ready for the next part of the story? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Great. It looks like we're good to go. Well, what happened next was, remember, Yaakov, the dad, got so old and he passed away. And so they went to bury him up in the best land in the whole world, the land of... Israel. That's where they took him up to Israel and they put him in the special cave where Abraham and Sarah had been buried, where Yitzhak and Rivka had been buried, where Leah had been buried and now Yaakov was buried there as 
well. So that is where they put Yaakov. And then when they came back, the brother said, uh, maybe Yosef is still going to be angry with us. Maybe Yosef is still going to be mean to us. Maybe Yosef was only kind to us because our dad was still alive and he didn't want to upset our dad. But maybe now that our dad is gone, maybe he's going to put us all in jail. jail. Yeladim, do you think he's going to do that? No. no. Well, the brothers didn't know. And so they all came along to talk to Yosef. And you know, when they came to talk to Yosef, they actually said something that wasn't completely true. They said, Yosef, Yosef. Yes, my brothers. Yosef, our dad had a special favor to ask. He said, Yosef, please don't be angry with your brothers. That's what our dad Yaakov wanted before he died. He said, please, can all my children be kind to each other? And please don't be angry with us. Do you think Yaakov actually said that, Jeladim? No. I don't think he did. Because I don't know if Yaakov ever found out what happened. Remember, Yaakov didn't know that Yosef got sold and went down to Egypt. No one told him. All he knew was that one day Yosef disappeared. And then... That is the other brother. Thank you, Tzitzah. That's the other brother from Syria. <laughs> All he knew was that one day Yosef disappeared and years and years later, he found Yosef again and he was a boss in the land of Egypt. But he never knew what actually happened. So I don't think that he went and that the other brothers or that Yosef told him what actually happened. So I don't think Yaakov would have said to the other brothers, uh, to Yosef, please don't be cross with your brothers because he didn't have any reason to think that Yosef would be cross with him. He didn't know what had really happened. Anyway, the brothers were really nervous. So they all came to Yosef and they said, Yosef, Yosef, our dad asked, please, will, can we all be friends and please don't be cross with us. And you know what Yosef said? Yosef said, <laughs> Yosef started crying. <laughs> I was so sad. Yosef says, brothers, why, why would you think that I would be cross with you? Don't you realize this is all from Hashem? This is not because you thought of something or I thought of something, or you did something, or I did something. You know who arranged this whole story, Yeladim? Who was it? Hashem. Hashem. Yosef says, obviously, I'm not going to be cross with you because Hashem did this. And you know what? What Hashem did was actually so good because, because Hashem put me here, we had enough food during all the bad years. Remember, Yosef had the special plan. Oh, that's another question I didn't ask you earlier. When Paro had his dreams, how many good cows came out of the river? That's right, Chalva, seven. How many bad cows came out of the river? Do you know, Surya? How many? Four. Not four, more? Plus seven three. also. Excellent. Seven. How many cows all together? Good cows and bad cows together, 14. Yes, my boy? Oh, you oh that cow? No, I'm not going to use that cow right now. You can go get it if you want, actually. Do you want to go get it? Okay, as you will go get us the cow to show us. Thanks, boy. So, then... Uh, fantastic. So, after Yosef said, this is all from Hashem, because Hashem gave us such a good plan. Because you sold me to come down to Egypt... You thought you were doing something bad, but Hashem made sure that it was good. Because Hashem made sure that I became the boss of Egypt and that I could take care of everybody throughout all of the bad and difficult years. So don't be sad and don't be cross because it's Hashem who made me the boss. Hashem did this to give you all food, and so it is an ending that really is good. So are you ready to sing that song with me? Don't be sad and don't be cross, 
Hashem sent me to Egypt to make me the boss. You thought it was bad, but really it was good so that I could give you all food. I just made up that song right now. I don't know if it's a good one or not. Well, that was what Yosef said to them. Don't you guys worry. Hashem was doing it so that we would all be taken care of. And we don't have to fight or be cross with one another. Ah, oh, brilliant. I've got the cows. So this one is the... This is the good cow, the seven good cows. And these ones are the seven bad cows. Well, that is what happened. Thank you, Yeladim. That is what happened. And Yosef and the brothers all became friends again. And they gave each other a big hug. Oh, we are best friends and brothers again. Hooray! You can have all the brothers. So they all became best friends and brothers again. And they all lived happily in the land of Egypt. But you like them, I have a question for you. Why did they stay in the land of Egypt? After the bad years were gone, do you know what I think they should have done? I think they should have gone back to Israel. That was their home, right? Yeah. That was the special land Hashem wanted them to be. Why didn't they go back? Well, they'd finished the bad years, so the Egyptians could not take care of themselves. So maybe they should have gone home. I don't know. I don't know why they didn't. But they stuck around in Egypt. And that is actually going to turn out to be a bad decision. Because a little bit later, the Egyptians, who used to be quite nice to them, started being quite bad to them. That's what we're going to find out about in a little while. Well, in the meantime, Yosef was still the boss for a while, for many years. And Yosef and the brothers all grew old together. And their hair turned gray. The hair that remained at least turned gray. And everyone had children and grandchildren. And great grandchildren. And they all grew old in the land of Egypt. And do you know who was the oldest of all for I'm years and years brother. to come? Not actually the oldest brother. Let me show you. I need to borrow her for a second. Thank you. There was this girl who used to be just a young girl, but she grew up and up until she became an old lady. She was the oldest of them all. Do any of you have an idea who that was? That was Sarah. But Asher, Serach but Asher, she well, she became that, older because after everyone else stopped getting safta. older, she carried on living. Safta. She did become a safta. Look, she became a safta. She became so old and she became a safta that Serach but Asher, Serach but Asher was the one who sang Yosef the special, uh, Yaakov, the special song that Yosef is alive. Do you remember that song, Yeladim? Give me a thumbs up if you remember that song. Guess what? Your safe is actually a live. That one. That's the song. Well, we didn't sing the whole thing. So, uh, that was Sarah Bat Asher. And your safe gave her a special... Yaakov gave her a special blessing. That Hashem will always take care of her. Because she gave him the good news. And that's how she lived. And that's how she lived for so, so, so very, very long. She became the oldest of all. And I'm sorry to tell you as well, but out of the brothers, do you know who? Do, okay, there we go. Thank you. Uh, out of the brothers, do you know who was the youngest? Yes. yes. Well, the one who actually didn't live the longest was Yosef. Yosef didn't live the longest. He was the second youngest, but he didn't live the longest. And... I think the main reason, there's different reasons why, but the main reason was because he was the boss of the whole land of Egypt and that was really, really hard. He was always like running around, taking care of people, running the country, doing things, making difficult decisions and that got extremely exhausting for him, more than all the other brothers. Well, the truth is, 
that they all grew old in the land of Egypt, as I said, with their children and grandchildren. And then Yosef said to the Jewish people, to all of the Jewish people who were there, Jewish people, he's now speaking with an older voice because he's an old man, Jewish people, soon I will not be with you anymore. And I am going to be in the land of Egypt. But one day, I promise you, Hashem will remember you. You will not stay in Egypt forever. You will go out of Egypt and you will go up to the land of Israel, to the special land of Israel. That is where you will go. And... Please, please, Jewish people, when you go, (laughs) fantastic, when you go, you must take me up with you so that you can bury me in the special land of Israel. Do you all promise, Jewish people? And what did they all say, Yeladim? Give me a thumbs up if they said Yes. yes. That is what they said. Yes, of course, Yosef. We promise we will. Ah, thank you, Jewish people. Now, I am so tired. I'm going to go to sleep. And that is the end of the story of Yosef. But... The story of the Jewish people didn't end there. Because after Yosef, there was a new pharaoh, a new paro who came in. And this new paro was the worst one. This was the worst paro ever. The last paro had actually been quite nice and kind. He gave the Jewish people a place to live. He sent up the wagons and horses to get Yaakov and the family down from the land of Israel. He made Yosef the boss of Egypt. Exactly. He was actually really kind and good, the last paro. But this paro, ay, 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 caramba. He was not a good paro. Not one little bit. And do you know what he decided, Yeladim? Won't it be nice? If I can remember, won't it be nice if the Jewish people become my slaves and they all have to work so hard for me every day and I never pay them any money? Is that a great idea for Paro to do? That is a terrible idea. But that was what Paro decided. Did that work or didn't that work? Did Paro win or did Paro lose? All this and more will be discussed (laughs) next week when we get together on Sunday again for more children's Torah stories. Yeladim, I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom and I will see you soon. Bye.